Gamers, let's talk about Aventurine. Aventurine is pretty crazy, and I made an entire video talking about Aventurine because I think that I want Aventurine. I want Aventurine so bad. But I also went and got Acheron and her Light Cone. So, uh, doubt. But we're going to try. And um, should you try? It's going to really depend on your account. I know that you could say that about every single character in the game, but Aventurine is someone uh, who I think has a lot of potential, especially if you have follow-up characters. Now, everyone in the world has follow-up characters. What Aventurine does is he's got these little stacks down here in the corner, if you can see my mouse, and when anyone on your team does a follow-up attack, he gains stacks. If anyone on your team gets hit, he gains stacks. If he gets hit, he gets two stacks, and what ends up happening is he will do a follow-up attack once he reaches seven, and he'll give everyone on the team shields. Now, if multiple people are getting hit, he will get multiple stacks. His ultimate ability will also increase damage dealt to a target and give you random stacks. It's about to happen right here. So it gave me three stacks there. I only need one more to activate that follow-up attack and get some more shield. He is very good at keeping you alive. He also provides crit damage, which is nice, kind of like Fushuan. And hypothetically, you could use Fushuan and him, and you will never die. <laughs> like, it'd be, it'd be tough. And then you're giving your team crit rate and crit damage. It's, it's kind of cool. So overall, Aventurine, very, very cool, very, very good. Uh, I'm a big fan. He provides some effect res to your team. And I just think overall, he's like an like a S, S plus tier unit. I don't understand how Aventurine wouldn't be godly. I just don't understand. It just doesn't make any sense. Looking at the talents, looking at the kit, looking at what was in-game and testing him with multiple comps. I used follow-up people. I used just normal damage dealers. He is so damn good. And, uh, I mean, honestly, I love the animations overall. I love, like, the gambler motif. And um, I, I think that the character is going to be, like, a shining star for a long time. Is he mathematically going to be better than Fushuan? Is he going to be better than Luocha? Is he going to be better than Hua Hua? Everyone has a different function. Everyone's got different value. But, like, I think his is, is top tier and works with, like, any team. And the fact that everyone's got a doctor ratio. Someone might have lost a 50-50 to Clara. Uh, you know, some people got the Topaz going. I think there's a lot of awesome follow-up units that you can pair with him. But I used him without. And you, 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 don't, you don't need them. It's good, it helps you, but sometimes the follow-up attacks and getting his follow-up attack to proc, uh, it's like overkill, because you, you're already shielded. You just don't need any more shield. He provides thousands of HP of shield, so um, I am definitely going to hunt this character down. I, I'm very, very interested in this character uh, long-term. Also provides a debuff to the enemy, uh, which can work with Acheron, which is always cool. And uh, one of the nice things, these light codes are trash, bro. Uh, this light cone is, like, pretty bad, unless you wanted to do a damage dealer, uh, like a damage dealer, um, Aventurine, which you, you could, I suppose, hypothetically, but, uh, yeah, no, no, I, I, I think, uh, I think that I'm not interested in this unit at all. I think I, or, or sorry, this light cone at all, I think I'm gonna stick with the free light cones overall. There's also this other one that's on his banner, and, and you could, you, or his his light cone um, banner. But I would never be pulling on that thing. I think that is an absolute waste. That is a mistake. Um, but there's like Landau's choice, so it ups the chances of him, um, you know, getting attacked, which gives two stacks to his passive, um, allows for more shield generation and follow ups. But I think that, you know, trend of the market, if you're using um, Acheron, this can provide some some debuffs, some burns to the enemy. Um, Day of a New Life gives you a defense bonus, gives all res, all type res. There's so many that give you some defense bonuses here. Um, I think that you can probably muster up at least one of these for your account and, and, and use one of these. I think you'd, you'd be chilling pretty good. I think that Aventurine is going to be easy to build bring a lot of value and honestly if i start looking at my uh account it's like one of the big things that i i think i'm missing amazing debuffer amazing dps a speed manipulator a great tank um i've got so many good supports like three of the best supports in the game follow-up units single target units aoe units different aoe units you know like i've got a lot of different choices 
But I think one of the things I'm missing is another really powerful sustain unit. I've got healers. Don't get me wrong. I've got healers, but I want a Venturine. I want a Venturine, and I think he's going to be pretty easy to build. That's all I'm going to say on the topic. I am going to be saving. I am at... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm only at 1,200. Oh, my God. I don't even have a 10 pull. Oh, no. No! The good news is, is I haven't done... Uh, better check. No, I haven't. No, I haven't even done this event yet. So I haven't done this event yet. I haven't done the 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 simulated universe this week mocu updates you know i there's there's a little bit of time there's a little bit of time but we've only got a week until aventurine shows his juicy juicy butt so <laughs> i better get lucky i better i better get lucky if not we'll save for someone else i guess thanks for watching have a good day bye bye